Sean Sulpur Dioxide emission has been observed from the main crater of the Taal Volcano. This has caused damage to crops and minor health issues among residents of Agoncillo, Batangas. Taal's uh, continuous unrest affects value crops like chili, papaya, eggplant, and cassava. Residents lament this as they continue to reel from the massive eruption last year. One farmer told News Pipe that he smelled a strong chemical odor from Taal on June 10. This was also felt by other residents, particularly in Barangay Subikilaya, Banyaga, and Bilinbinwang. They have some trouble in breathing and experience eye irritation and sore throat. This resulted in fear among the residents that the volcano will erupt again. Fibox OIC Director Dr. Renato Solidum said that Taal emitted high levels of sulfur dioxide. Solidum explained that it is direct oh it is it has directly causes burning on the leaves of the crops. On June 10 alone, the volcano recorded nearly 10,000 tons of sulfur dioxide emission. Today, it has emitted 4,000 tons, still higher than the daily average of 2,000 tons. But the FIBOX says that such activity is usual for a volcano under a level 2 alert level such as Taal. But the agency warned the LGUs to make sure that their residents are ready should the situation worsen. Local officials say that they have determined possible evacuation sites and will purchase N95 masks for the residents. Sean Mayor uh, Agoncillo, Mayor Daniel Reyes assures the public that they are ready if the upwelling persists, but he notes that their budget is running low due to the recent eruption and the COVID-19 issues. Sean? All right, thank you so much for that update and stay safe down there. That was Romel Lopez of News 5 joining us live from Batangas.